There we are. Yo. Hi, man. Uh, just oh. give me a second. I have a little bit of issue with my um, with my headphones. Just a second, please. Okay. Yeah. No worries. Just a second. No, I know my frame. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Awesome. Okay. If it's a little bit laggy or anything, just let me know because I'm using the Bluetooth one now. So. Ain't too uh, much okay, works, okay. okay. Sounds good, bro. Sounds good. I, I can hear you good too. How are you, man? Thank you for doing this. Yeah, no, of course, bro. So I'm like, I'm also eating oatmeal. I had spilled like the flakes. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to clean all that up. It was a mess, but we're good now. No, it's fine, dude. It's fine. Bon appetit. Mm, thank uh, you. So, so, dude, for people that don't know, which are actually a lot of people that follow me, you know, because most of them are from Romania and Europe in general, uh, just let them know a little bit. What are you? What are you doing? Who are you? Where are you from? You know everything. Uh, okay. Well, hello everybody. My name is John Gifted. I hail all the way from Dallas, Texas. Um, you know, I dance, I film, I um, my styles. I guess you could say are um, proficient if we want to get like specific in waving, tutting, popping a little bit. Um, Crump has always been like a uh, a strong along style that I've picked up since I started, but now I'm kind of revisiting and getting reconnected with it and and um, just getting more in tune with it, and so especially on the spiritual aspect, because a lot of times when I dance, I try to connect my spirit to my movement because ultimately that's what is going to filter authenticity from me okay. personally. If if you were go if you were to describe Crump in a sentence because um, the way you think works in Romania, in Romania for example I know there used to be somebody that did Crump but right now at the moment there's basically no one as far as I know so if I were to give you a sentence to describe Crump for them what would it be um, pure raw expression because it it's at the end of the day all dance is is just a form of expression right. When it comes to crump, this was um this was a style that was purely built to one get people out of the streets, get people like you know from doing yeah. gang related activity and whatnot, and and then also it was to to really bring the spiritual aspect of praise dancing to a more like um, street cultured audience, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, it is. You know, so definitely pure, raw expression. And it's it, if you, if anybody has ever like dove into Crump or had an experience with Crump and you, you see it in its rawest form, you'll know like you can't, you can't fake it. And that's something that. Exactly. And yeah, exactly. Because I'm also like, I'm a logical person. When I learn things, I, I try to understand it in the most logical aspect before I even go to the expressive part because that's just how I am. But I'm trying to like kind of. Um, switch those and catch the expressive yeah. aspect first because in order to get somebody to feel something or get somebody to understand what you're doing you have to like be vulnerable and you have to allow yourself that space to be like oh shit what's good Alex um well Alex allow yourself to be just to be open open and like vulnerable to just letting it all out and that's the beauty of crump is like if you're going and you're having yeah, exactly. a bad day you like, can't fake the book yeah you're like i gotta <laughs> yeah. i gotta just i gotta get it out so it's like you'll just go and you'll like meet up with your homies and then they'll make the circle and they'll hype you up and you're just like ah i don't want it anymore oh shoot <laughs> my pots and pans I almost knocked them over um, that's what happens man <laughs> that's what happens <laughs> yeah exactly you gotta be spatially aware so how many how many dancers are there in your city how many dancers are there yeah, that you hang out with. I mean, <laughs> well, um, so I was living in LA for like five years, and the scene since then has changed a lot. Um, yeah. So when I came back because of quarantine, there was a lot of uh, cats that were like still, so I guess kind of fresh. And I myself am slowly still integrating myself back into the scene just to kind of like see how it's flowing now because when you're gone from a place for a while, a lot of things change. So 
there's new okay. leaders, there's new pioneers, there's new, there's new everything. Oh, chill, yo, that's gonna be dope. Yes, yeah, so please come, come to Texas. Texas but the um, open. there we go, there we go. Yeah, um, I would say there's there's this man there's a lot because I also found out. I don't know if you're familiar with like party dances. Uh oh, the wheel. Okay, we back. Um, yeah, you're, you're lagging a little bit. I don't know why. Maybe it's the internet connection. Or... Yeah, I caught it on Smart, this end because I can understand. Too. Um, I don't know if you're. Yeah. I don't know if you're familiar with like the party dancing where they're like, <clears throat> and, and all that. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Whole, what you mean. I know what you mean. culture. I just, uh, I just found out there's like a whole like scene of that here now. Like, there's a whole other like section of Dallas that has all those dancers that love to just hit them folks, hit the whoa, all that, and and it's kind of cool shit. to watch. They they enjoy it, so I'm like, yo, if you, if you love it, by all means, be be to you. Um, so there's. It's awesome, man. If I could just give you a rough number, it's like 100 to 150. Because at the end of the day, everybody that that dances, that loves dance, that wants to dance, they don't always come out because some people just don't even know that dance exists yeah, exactly. in that in that way. In in many places, you know. Exactly. This is the party thing was going on. So, how would you describe the contrast now that I, Wait, how's the situation there? Are you still in lockdown or some shit? So, <laughs> Like, Why is it funny already? We started funny. Okay, let's go. <laughs> it's because we... Texas is just like its own country. And we we're, we're, we have like, we have lockdown, but like capacity is limited in a lot of different places. Like you go into a restaurant and if it's like the maximum capacity is say 90 people. They like cut that down to a certain percentage and it's like... 40 to 30 people that are allowed in the space at once and so sometimes there will be a line for people to get in but there's but that's not bad at all dude yeah but i mean things are like open though like i can go to a restaurant and sit down still i can some parks are closed like trails they're closed but most like um just open parks that aren't necessarily like for people to come hang out at are open um Wait, where, yeah, is where, that, has it been like this for like for the whole year? I mean, that's unfair for the for the rest of us, dude. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, you know, uh, it hasn't been this way the whole year though. Um, once they started doing the reopenings, I believe it was in. It was like late July. Uh, I believe early August is when stuff really started okay. to open up here, and. Um, that's kind of around the time that I had came back. So, ooh, excuse me. I'm a gassy person, you <laughs> It is unfair. It is unfair. It is. It is so unfair. You know what, man? We're... I mean, when you compare it to LA, for example, it has to be fucking unfair. You can feel it already, right? Oh, yeah, no. It, it's like, but the thing is, too, some people are just kind of kind of crazy with, like, the regulations. They're like, I don't need to do this. And I'm like, but... Yes, you do. <laughs> like, <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. Because at the end exactly. of the day, we all have to help each other so we can get what we want, which is like that ultimate freedom. But people yeah. are just hard headed with with these regulations and make it worse. It's like, you know, it's it's always like that one person that just ruins doesn't it want for to everybody. stay in the house and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, <laughs> doesn't want to stay inside and shit. <laughs> Sometimes like I see people walking into clubs and their masks aren't even on. Like it's it's like wild. Like clubs get packed out that, at some point. That's what you, that's what you describe as proper assholes. Basically, Say it again. I believe that's what you would describe as proper assholes. I believe. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, if you want to yeah, put it in the it. simplest terms, is that yeah, for sure. It's just exactly <laughs> people just don't want to listen. I'm like, why you gotta be so hard headed, bro? Like, just listen. Yeah, but you know. Well, I'm, on the positive side of things, I mean, this vaccine thing is gonna come over, so maybe everything's gonna end soon. I mean, I'm trying to be a positive guy, so I hope it's gonna it's gonna be like that, and the border's gonna open up. And as Alex said, let's just go to another country, you know? Everybody right. wants for that. Right. I mean, I'm tempted to just leave here. So it's funny, y'all are gonna like yeah, sure. Y'all come to the U.S. or even Texas, and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go to Europe. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We're gonna. I don't think we're gonna meet for the next three years. People are gonna travel so much. 
nobody's gonna meet, meet with each other, you know? <laughs> right. <laughs> gonna be crazy. Just miss each other in the sky. It's just gonna yeah, exactly it's gonna happen yeah. like that. <laughs> I gotta put okay. these headphones in now. Yeah, I try my okay, wait. But so for me, for the the video is good for you. The From video is perfect now. The video is working really good. I just wanted to charge my phone too because sometimes when I'm on these lives, it decides to like drain my. Yeah, it sounds like shit. It happened when <laughs> Alex is actually on. She knows it happened. It happened uh, with Alex. What I had on the speakerphone and everything, you can hear the echo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this lives a fucking shit, man. But we're gonna do the proper one when we meet. Cause that's what that's that's the plan with it. I want to do it long yeah. term. It's not like, yeah, it's not like dope. Like kill time. That's you know? so dope. And I yeah. think these are really dope too because it gives a lot of different people um, the opportunity to express themselves verbally through this this uh, you know this thing that we do and this this thing yeah, that exactly. we love. You know why? Because if you think about it, I don't know how. How you were in the beginning, right? But for example, for me and a lot of my students, when you see these top tier dancers and you never traveled before, you know, in, in dancing, I mean, and never met them and shit, you imagine they're like, I don't know, some kind of superstars or some gifted, <laughs> pun, <laughs> gifted kind <type> of, <laughs> like some, you know, godly gifted type of persons, and you know, and I wanted to give everybody the chance, like, if they have the patience and everything, to know them as, as, a, as a normal human, you know, as brothers, as right. we are, as, right. you know, just friends. Right. And see exactly. the perspective. See that. See what the hell is thinking. You know, how is he training? What is he eating? Like, <laughs> right now, for example. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, that's the we, purpose of it. You know. Yeah, and it's just it's funny that you say that because I've I've been running into that a lot, especially with people that are in this scene that have seen me do what I do, and they they just look at my followers and they're like, oh my gosh. John, and I'm like because the fucking legend. <laughs> I'm, I'm no, I'm like no, bro. I'm human. I am a human being that also has human being problems and that deals on, with human being things on a day to day basis. And a lot of times, what you see is not what I'm always focused on. I'm focused on the the filter that dance brings, that emits love, that emits peace, that emits joy. And at the end of the day, when we're living in this world, all we wish to find is love, peace, happiness, and freedom. I mean, exactly. not not just those things, but you know, like as the foundation, we wish to just find that. And I'm just another one of these cats that's out here just trying to find that for themselves to find out the places that really brings them joy that can also be a medium to help other people as well. Mm -hmm. And and I <laughs> I'm I'm an introvert naturally, but I also have extroverted like qualities as well. You know what I mean? And I and I love people and I love to talk to people and I love to get to know people, especially the get to know people part. So I'm a really good listener. Yeah, I love that too. I love that too. But let, let's just get the elephant out of the room. Where did you get the name? Gift? I mean, is that your like birth name? Gifted or oh, you gave yourself the name? Yo, everybody thinks that's my birth name and it's so cool. I was like, in the beginning, I was imagining, okay, he just made a stage name, you know, for battles and shit. But then I was thinking, maybe, maybe he's, maybe his name is Gifted Bloody, you know? Right, right. But that's, that's so cool. But the thing is, uh, so, um, um, my first name, so I'm, I go by John a lot just because it's easier and I grew up that way, but my full name is Jonathan and, and my middle name is Matthew. And if you look in, into the meaning of both those names in the biblical sense, it means God's gift or gift of God. And when my parents named me that, they named me that, those names with that intent that I am God's gift or oh, okay. gift of God. And when I looked into that, I was like, yo. That could be my name. This could work. <laughs> yeah, you know, this could work. That could, that could be my name. And so I was like, one day, I was like, I have, I have my name. And I went into a battle and I was like, I just wrote down gifted. And when I did, like, no, like all my friends were there and they were like, yo, what's up, John, how you doing? Yo, no, no, no. And I didn't, have an, I didn't have a name at that point. But when I had wrote it down at the battle, they were like, yo, that's a dope name. Who's gifted? Because I was coming up from my prelim and then I walk out and they're like, yeah. oh shit, it's John. Yo. And then, yeah, that was it. That was, that was the start of my journey as gifted. But then at the same time, it was kind of crazy because I felt like I awakened my spirit when that happened. Yeah. Because now I feel like my spirit has a name and it's gifted. And I am John. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 I know what you mean. I know what you mean. It's like it's kind of like playing a character, isn't it? In a sense, in a way. Yeah, yeah. Or it, and it's like also it having is. another another type of 
entity or essence like living inside of you and it comes out when it's like time for battle it's like <laughs> you know what i mean yeah exactly so, exactly that's a dope idea man maybe i should check because i was searching actually i don't have a battle name show that yet you know and yeah the reason why because first of all i didn't have i didn't find a, a good one and i decided for me it's like getting the tattoo i don't have any tattoos yet just because i decided that it has to be the one that represents me so much that how do i put it if somebody can read my skin off with it, I'll cry. You know, I'll, I need to love it. <laughs> like, I need yeah, to right, adore that right. thing. Right. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. Believe so that's in it, like waiting. 100%. Yeah, and that's yeah, what that exactly. was. Because I, I saw, like, all my friends, they had, like, they had, like, Freedom. They had, like, Exorcist. They had, like, Valkyrie. They had, like, all these dope names. And I was just like, yo. I don't have a name. I'm John, you know? <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm <laughs> John, bro. I'm, I'm just John. I'm just John. At one point, I put like Johnny Boy or something, but I was still not with that. So I sat down and I was just like, let me look into myself, actually. Let me write out my name and then let me see what does my name mean. And I just kind of went from there and it was just something that was more led spiritually than it was like mentally. Yeah, I know what you mean. But the. F- this that you describe right now is, is actually resembling your dance, isn't it? Because you said you have to fully, fully believe. So I'll give you an example, right? We don't, we haven't met prior to this. So that's, that's one thing, right? Yeah. When yeah. I saw your, uh, uh, of course I saw you online at first. Um, when I saw your lines, the first thing that popped into my mind, that, that was the thing that I was admiring about you. Like the guy is like living the damn thing. Do you know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. for me, for example, and a lot of people, you know, it's so hard to, when the person says, or the camera says on, when the person says, says start, to actually get into that zone that I love, you know what I mean? Like, you have to believe so much that I'm, I don't know, that thing's going through me, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, so my question is, and then we go with the stylist thing, did you train this? Like this state of, now, let's go? Or have you come at one point with so much peace on yourself that you just said, I don't give a fuck about anything anymore, and that's how I live? Uh, that a question. <laughs> yeah, that's a loaded question, but I I wouldn't I say I like trained it. It was more so like being more mindful of what it felt like, so I knew how to tap into that. And and then at the end of the day, like I know a lot of us as we grow up, we grow we um we develop insecurities that hinder us in our fullest potential. And for me, and even in my journey period, I start to try to. that hinder me uh oh i think do we lag still hear you it's fine oh the sound was still going the sound was still going yeah okay cool 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 cool. but be mindful of all those things that that hinder me and that truly like hold me back and then what i do is i i dissect them and then i try to pick them apart to understand the why and then once i understand why i'm like i don't need it and once i figure out why i don't need it then i i'm able to fully like immerse myself in in who i am and what i um strive to be and what i want to become like eventually and i mean a lot of times it was trial and error because i myself i have a like a camera and the first time i ever turned on my camera i looked at it and i was like i was like doing stuff like this i was like mm-hmm. Um, I was like, all right. Like, I was like, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play the music. That's me, dude. <laughs> you know, like it's like because it's it's crazy. It's a, it's one thing to look somebody in their eyes for a yeah. long period of time, and there's a point where you will be uncomfortable because that's intimate. And then there's another thing where you turn on a like a camera lens and you see this fat circle looking at you, and you're like, piece of empty glass. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, exactly. how do yeah. I? fill that how do i fill that with energy because right now it's just an object and so it got cut off a little bit i think oh, you put yourself on mute <laughs> something was uh somebody was calling me hold on i'm gonna i gotta run to the front but i'm gonna keep talking but yeah, yeah. um so when it comes to just even like yeah, like being in front of the camera and trying to to give something, you have to just think about it like you're dancing in your room, right? You're dancing by yourself or you're you're in your most vulnerable place and forget about it. You just forget yeah, about it, any 
yeah like forget about any and everything that's there and and just release and that's yeah. the biggest thing that i've had to like train and learn is is how to do that like off rip and how long thank you like when did you start when did i start dance. like in dance? general yeah 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 yeah, yeah. okay so the, the question is actually when did you start dance and then when did you learn to actually feel like tap into this i know how to ah, 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 okay that's okay. why i'm so, asking yeah, yeah word 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 okay so i am 29 now i'm actually about to be 30 and i started <laughs> dancing when i was i started <laughs> dancing when i was uh, <laughs> When I was <laughs> the dog died, that was fucking crazy. That I I live in like a pit. Like there's just dogs all around me. It's crazy. But uh, I, I started dancing when I was like 18, 19, like right out of high school. And I um I didn't even know there was a dance scene in Dallas. I was just like, I love dance and I'm gonna just finger tuck my way through life. <laughs> and that's kind of like how I started a lot of just uh a, a big part of my journey was just I was like I like this shit I'm gonna, I'm gonna learn how to do this where did and you then, see it where did you see it though where did you, where did you I, see it where did I see dance yeah I mean yeah, everywhere like you said finger tutting so finger tutting what's funny is I didn't even know like cats in my school and I went to a school that was like it wasn't it wasn't even like it was just a low funded school so like a lot of <laughs> I definitely do not look that's dirty. That's right. You don't look. You look, you look fucking younger than me, dude. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Bro, I <laughs> am about to with beautiful jeans, and I'm grateful. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, like there was there was dudes in my school that were that were finger tutting, and I was like, how? Wait, what? And oh, bro, this is so. This is like, <laughs> I guess this is one of those full circle moments that just hit me. But I think the. Well, the first time I saw finger tutting was was on ABDC, right? When like America's Best Dance Crew, yeah, 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 yeah I know. And and Hawk did like that that finger tut that everybody started to learn. And then when he did that, I found out there was there was people that were at my school, but instead of them doing this one, they were they were doing all these connects and and whatnot, like all the stuff that was like this. But I was like, how do they know about this? Like, where did they find out? And, but me being the introvert, I never asked. I was never like, yo, uh, where'd you see that? And so, and there was a point where I was just kind of like walking one day, listening to music. And I was just like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and some kid saw me and was like, yo, can I teach you a dance? And I was like, sure. And so he taught me like some, some dance and um come my senior year we did it in front of like our english class and they were like yo i didn't know nice. you could dance and then after that is when like i also had met friends too that are now like family to me that started me in like a dance crew and then i i started dancing with them and then i was like ah, i, I want to get more into myself and learn myself so i i broke off from them and started my freestyle journey which was like 21 22 at the time and that's when i met a lot of cats that are from dallas um and built myself into the scene that way and then by 25 24 25 is when i had moved to la and um i continued my journey there and started learning from different cats out there and then i started you know what's crazy and it's funny i don't know if alex is still in this live but i remember seeing her and callie come to la and win a battle uh called the dance she told fight. me about that she told me about a battle she went there yeah yeah, yeah, and they they ripped. We were like, yeah, who are they? <laughs> <laughs> it was so it was so crazy, and it's cool that that LA brings people like that. <laughs> that, brings, that brings people like that out, and then you you get that that seed, and then now look where we are. Yeah, I was definitely there. I was. I told you, I'm introverted. Sometimes I'm being the cut, just like. So I was like that in the beginning as well. Dude. Keep watching. I was the best shadow in the house. In right. The <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. 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 Like I just, I just, I love to watch. I love to listen. And I'm also very observant. So anytime yeah. there's something new that is in my like space, I'm, I'm like just very like keen to listening and to learning about it. Um, 
but yeah my uh, dance has always been around me even just growing up as a kid because i would watch movies that had dance in it and i would love dancing but my friends were always better than me because they had more soul than me <laughs> so i was like dang i gotta figure this out but it was cool to have those people around to to like really help push and to help like bring out what is what is like authentically you you know what i mean yeah so yeah it was cool wish i hadn't mentioned yo no that would have been dope that would have been dope but at the time y'all were like y'all were spitting hot fire so i was nervous <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, it's never too late, is it? It never is. It never is. Yeah. So, so you have family members in, in the in the music industry, do you? Do I? Mm, not that I know of. There it's was a point where people that I that are... Yeah, go on. You... Oh, I was gonna say. Um, I mean, I remember my mom telling me. Uh, so have you have you ever seen the movie Selena? Yeah. So you know the the, the guy that plays the dad in Selena? Yeah. My mom yeah. used to tell me that <laughs> that we were related to him, and I was like, "No way!" because they had the same last name <laughs> or whatever. And then she was like, "Nah, I was just kidding." I was like, "Ma, I believed that for five years. How are you just gonna?" Oh my god, dude, that like, is Dang. worse than Santa. Yo, that it's, is definitely it's worse, worse than, than Santa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, hurt, that hurts, man. That's feelings right there. That hurts. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was I was upset, bro. I was like, "Ma, I thought I had a chance <laughs> at meeting a celebrity, but..." Yeah. Okay, so so you said it. Okay, you moved to LA and now you're back, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, I was cool. going to ask you because in the beginning you mentioned, like when you described your dancing, you said popping a little bit. Well, so, yeah. when, when I when I got into, uh, uh, in my mind, you were presented to me as a popper, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you build up desires that you can kind of see. You know what I mean? Isolation and everything. You can kind of see a lot of hip hop dancers are doing as well. But you know what I mean? You you know a pop when you see one. So, in my mind, it was just a guy that just is taking this art style a little bit further through popping so i'm talking about waving you know taking it further through popping that's what i'm trying to do, for example so what did you mean by that though? what's your foundation in popping how do you use it well my foundation is popping or my foundation is popping um but i never fully like felt that i am a popper because i don't popper, yeah. you know what i mean i don't I don't kind of follow those guidelines of, of, of popping, but I understand like, you know, what popping is. Popping is the hit and then everything that falls under it are those different styles that you can exactly. tap into to fully like immerse yourself in a whole different creation of pre presentation, right? But for me, it's like, I wasn't, I wasn't into that and I love the funk, but then I also, what I've been around and what I'm used to, I love the griminess too. I love. I love the the freedom and the expression that can come from just dance period and to for me popping didn't facilitate that all the way which is why I like would dive into crump and even hip hop like I was looking for hip hop for the longest time when I was in Dallas and the closest thing we've had is this b-boy you know what I mean and yeah um and even then, like me being tall and lanky, I dived into that. But all I did was power moves and I was never truly able to um, like connect with certain people that I felt could help me because I was just so introverted. So once I was able yeah. to get over my introverted tendencies now, like today, I'm able to reach out to cats that are like crazy that I've traveled like internationally and be like, hey, man, I want to train with you. But of course, I still haven't done that yet because quarantine or whatever, whatever. Yeah. Um, but for me, popping was just like definitely something that I loved because of the control aspect and because it, it helped facilitate part of my emotions that I could use to like paint a picture. And then within that picture, I have different expressions like crump that can help me make that louder or if it's like if i'm feeling really soft with it if i'm feeling just really like <sighs> <laughs> then you already you already know what's coming it's gonna be like like i'm gonna wave but then the way i even go with waving i'm not just gonna simply wave there's gonna probably be bounces and things that i react to because that's what life is we bounce back from things that happen to us and the way that we react is ultimately how we figure out who we are you know yeah yeah music has to, has a lot to do with that too doesn't it because in in a, in a way 
I do resonate with you, but for me, it's just because of waving, actually. Because um, popping, at one point, it feels like it, it's a little bit limited, if I'm expressing myself correctly. Do you know what I mean? It kind of stops some things that you should gather from music, for example. Or, mm -hmm. um, you know what I mean? Of course, first of all, it's, it's all the clap, but I'm not talking about it, like in general, you know? So Yeah, right now. Yeah. So why not, what, right now, what I'm doing, because that's what I want to see, if you're doing the same, and if so, how do you go with it so we can you know, show people how, how, how the process works. Um, what I'm doing right now is, is I'm just using it to emphasize certain effects because, for example, me popping, that's what it was, man. It's just looking fake. You know, I, I, I talked with Jesse as well about this. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, that's yeah. The, that's the fascination behind it. That's why I love, I, when I saw bopping at first, I was, my mind was just fucking crushed. Right. You know, it's, it's, yeah, yeah, it's looking extremely fake, right? So I'm trying to take those elements of it, and put them in my story, you know, as much as possible. So is that, is that the process for you as well? Yeah, it always depends on, I guess, what you want to say. And even when I'm talking to, to people nowadays, when they ask me, it's like, how do you figure out, you know, what to do when you're dancing? It's just like, uh, you have to know what you want to say. And sometimes it's like, do you have a story to tell? Or are you just dancing or moving to move? Because sometimes people can move to move and still do really cool shit. But there's other times where it's like people are moving to express and when they move to express then they are able to tap something much deeper and when they can tap into that, that's when everything that they do has a purpose. So if they're going to say they're waving, right? And then at the end of it, they're like, Ska! and they hit there. That's a period. So that's a part of a sentence structure that is serving the whole paragraph of what you have to stay, have to stay, have to say in your round or in your presentation period yes storytelling and yes, i grew exactly. and what's funny is like i the way that i grew up because there wasn't a whole lot of people that taught foundation in dallas but the ones that did they either were traveling internationally already and they didn't have enough time to teach or there was a person or uh, there was a point where they just stopped teaching like one of the the yeah, cats that that um did teach a lot but i didn't i wasn't around at that time with john doe and when john doe was teaching um all my friends that i know now got to like learn from him and and like train with him and now they now they are teachers but they're teachers elsewhere um they they got that and i never was able to like have that i was never able to truly have somebody that can give me like the foundation of this and that's why i'm even blessed to have bad news as like my big homie and crump because he is he is that for me and okay um and it's like to be able to, to be able to have a mentor is like a is a big thing and to be able to have somebody to help guide you in these things is, is big but me i ended up learning from all of my peers they with the storytelling aspect and it's like and that was that was my foundation was storytelling like if you don't know what you want to say then you ain't saying nothing like you ain't saying shit like that's what they would tell me it's like you ain't saying shit and now you just look boring and a lot of times they would they wouldn't be like really sugary with it they would they would just give it to me real and i'd just be like all right cool yeah all right i'm not saying shit okay cool uh, i feel like that's that's the best way to get it man yeah uh and a lot of times like there's it depends on the person too like some people can handle it some people can't and it just depends on like what what you how you are as a person to to be able yeah. to you know move through life and if you can take the the criticism or even the constructive criticism like that that's very strong uh and strongly opinionated then you're fine but sometimes people have to have like positive affirmations and like and whatnot to to guide them first before they get like the real nitty-gritty it's like yeah. it, it it's different so for me and because of how i grew up it was it was a familiar you know form of communication so i was just like okay <laughs> yeah i've never had a mentor either actually but now that you said about this uh i wasn't i was that type of guy that i, I got the news like as you said not sugary like really really forced you know what i mean raw yeah and and i wasn't the first i was the person that actually i was i was too affected by it I was like, fuck that shit, I'm quitting this, you know. Right, right. But but then if it if it's that fascination behind your brain, I feel like it's it's never gonna let you go. So then I got you know, I was like, no, nah, fuck it, I'll do it. It doesn't matter how I'm not doing it for anybody else, you just gonna do it at one point, you know? Yeah. So so the persons that, that can can't can't count, 
<laughs> handle it at first. Maybe they will afterwards. You know, usually it does happen a lot. Yeah, sometimes it just registers late, and yeah, but that's when the inspiration yeah. will come, and then it's like, <sighs> I'm ready. Let's exactly, go. exactly. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, sure. And, and as you said about this, because it's really interesting, isn't it? You said about the story time, right? If you're not gonna tell a story, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't telling shit. You're not saying anything, right? Right. Uh, yeah. As you said before about the camera thing, is you open the camera, is that this big ass piece of glass, empty, soulless, right? And you try right. in your head, kind of, to impersonate it. But uh, I had a, like I have students daily. I think she's watching. I hope she is. She asked me like, okay, we're training and we're doing these things and you know concepts and we're playing and everything. And then when you get stop, let's go. What the hell am I supposed to do? Like, how do I choose, right? And my, right. for me, what worked, right? So for me, what what's working and still is to this, this day. It, for example, if we're gonna have a session, I'm gonna look at somebody all the time. I'm gonna right. look at somebody. If I'm gonna, yeah, if I'm looking into a camera, for example, that's soulless. So what I had to do is I'm imagining that, for example, the concept doesn't matter what it is, flying ball or some shit, right? Mm -hmm. But if I if I can like. I do my meditation and I'm calm at the moment. I'm always constantly imagining where it is. So basically, for me, I'm looking at something. Right. Right? I'm kind of looking right. at, at something actively. Yeah, so, so that's that's what worked for me, actually. But I now that I, you, you talked about it, I really got to get into Crump. <laughs> when we start <laughs> traveling, I really, I really, I really want to do it. It's, yeah, it's a, it's it's beautiful, bro. That's all I got to say is Crump. You know is it is. I saw it. Beautiful in Every every time I see it in its rawest form, even in Dallas, bro, like there's a whole lot of different cats out here that I grew up with watching and to see where they were then and where they are now and what it's done for them. It's like, yeah, like it's it has saved a lot of people. Crump has saved a lot of people, but dance has saved a lot of people. And that's also why I love yeah, this art form. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's yeah, yeah that's right. it's it's another form of meditation that can really take you to a place that you don't necessarily get on your day to day. Like I've worked a, a nine to five before and there would be times where instead of eating on my break, I would go dance because I was like, I'm stressed out. Let me, uh, you know, let me, let me dance. You know what I mean? And that's, that's the I'm thing that helps it, us. Yeah. yeah. So like, you know, like, you know that that's going to yeah. help you get through the day because sometimes sitting either at a desk or somewhere that's just like, that doesn't, like fill your cup that doesn't fill your spirit is is draining so you have to recharge in that sense you have to you know release all the things that don't serve you and refill with all the things that do serve your thing. Yeah. you know and i wanted to go back to uh what is it to storytelling real quick and to like yeah go on, go on. just to kind of touch on like when you are given these like these ideas or these concepts or these drills and you're not a, like really sure on how to use them it's like finding a toolbox right and then you're looking at at a, at a blueprint of something that you want to build and what you do is you look at all the tools that you were given and you're like which tool fits best with this purpose with that i'm with like what i'm about to build right and so these concepts these ideas it's it's like you have to figure out what aligns and what fits that way you can truly like find the story you wish to tell and then build it and continuously go and continuously like what well, crapped up again god damn audio man <laughs> oh my gosh yeah we can't we, hear we, you now i don't know what's let me see. Okay. Is the headphones or the or the, or the no? Or the I keep signal. I keep getting phone calls, and uh oh. Ah, okay. that's okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I was trying I to text you. my friend, but I'm gonna just hit him. I'm gonna have to hit him back later. Let me see. Maybe I can do it on my computer. But yeah. Okay. Anyway. Um. But yeah. So yeah, you you were saying that you can keep on building, you know, constantly. Yeah, and, and the, basically the, the doesn't whole, stop. And the whole idea with with what you do is to build. You want to you want to imagine yourself building a home for you or for for your you know for your loved ones and what type of home would you want them to live in and it's either like would you want them would you want them to live in something that's turbulent so they can understand like you know what you've experienced or would you want them to live in something that's full of love and full of joy and happiness so they can 
truly like know what that feels like as well or would you want to have you know little nooks and crannies that have turbulence in it so they can understand the like the the balance and the duality and and being being happy and being sad and the the reason why these two things actually balance out each other and why you need one and the other versus just only having one you know what i mean nice so, said man yeah so it's um yeah it's just just like that it's like what do you want to build what do you want to build it for or what do you want to say or what do you want to say it for or who do you want to say it to and a lot of times people forget yeah. that you can say something and the person that you want to say it to doesn't always have to be there you know like they don't have to exactly. be present but you can find something you can find a camera to look at that can represent the person that you wish you could talk to or you could find an object that you could that could represent the person that you wish you could talk to and you just dance to that and sometimes people are like yo who are you talking to especially when your gaze is like here with it oh wait no the camera's right here so it's like <laughs> no, i know what you mean like, yeah, i know what you mean you know what i mean and you're like yeah 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 you don't break it <laughs> it's like you're going like, for the food yeah you know what i'm yeah, saying yeah, yeah. Like, you no matter yeah. where you're at you can tell that you're still looking at that thing <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah i know what you mean so yeah man just figure out what you want to so, say so you can say it yeah uh, man that was amazing i'm just giving a little bit to, to get that all in all in okay mm. so what about waving tell us a bit about waving when did you get into it when did i get into it right, oh. uh, i think right now most of the people think you're a waver basically yeah because right, I, so. i fell in love with it because of a of an accident that i had like i had hit my head and holy shit really yeah so i hit my head like a couple years back and it really like shook me and it was like a, it was kind of like a wake-up call but it was like i think something that kind of helped um catapult me into the journey that i'm on right now um personally and that's when i had my first like i guess like encounter with anxiety because i've never had anxiety growing up and so being like 27 28 years old and then out of nowhere like i'm going to watch a movie and then my heart is like i'm like what is i know what that like, is can you feel <laughs> yeah and then i'm like can you feel i'm like i'm about to explode on. right now yeah yeah i, was yeah, like, I had yeah. no idea what was happening and me i don't like i'm not a person to be like um outwardly expressive with when i freak out <laughs> i'm like very like okay And and like, it's I got a burning go. house. Yeah, 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 exactly. And so when that happened, I was like, I have no idea what to do. And then I went on this journey of like discovering, you know, triggers and stuff like that, and and what I could do to kind of help get me through these things. And then, but was it like sorry for interrupting? So was it was it like an ongoing thing, like day to day shit, or it was just like one once in a while, right? Uh, the it was a, when it when it first started. It was like day to day, but I had no idea Damn. what it was. I had no idea that it was anxiety or panic attacks or anything like that. I had no clue. And then I had friends like that were like, "Yo, bro, I think you're having, you know, panic attacks." And I was like, "What? What?" <laughs> it like blew my mind. And um so from there is when I was like, "Okay, now I can look for triggers or now I can look for ways to help and then when i found out that you know physical activity is highly encouraged to do whenever your heart rate goes up because what you're doing is now you're catching your brain and your body up so they're like right now it's like in balance so that's why the anxiety yeah. is yeah. so now it's like when you start running or something it brings it up here so anytime i felt it i was like oh, i gotta go dance and so i would get up and i would go move <laughs> but <laughs> and waving was was actually the thing that i turn to because it uh it also fit with the emotional i guess not turmoil i don't think that's right the right word but with the emotional place that i was in and it helped actually calm me down and it really was the first part of movement meditation that i was able to create for myself because it's like yeah crump could do that and freestyle period could do that but for some reason waving allowed me you got fans boy <laughs> hannah oh yo <laughs> no she is she's a sweet person 
I love you too. <laughs> Man, hello, friends. Um, so you said waving was the first one that actually got you. Yeah, wave, waving, waving was the waving was the first thing that truly was able to get me through all of that because it it gave me it gave me patience with myself. Because when you're in, when like you're going through like just all that craziness in your head, when like your heart is pounding, it's like sometimes you tend to like self-deprecate. You start to like, oh, it's my fault because I'm feeling this. Oh, but at the end of the day, no, it's not really. And um, so it it gave me a lot of compassion for myself. It gave me a lot of patience for myself. A lot of grace, and it truly allowed me to feel everything. And it, it teaches you. It teaches you to take a break. To, yeah, it basically teaches you patience. Yeah. Yeah, and and then it like, and there was a point where I wouldn't even dance to music. I would just simply go outside. And where I used to live, the sun actually hit right above where my backyard was, and it would hit yeah. right where I would dance. And I would just sit there. Sometimes I just have my shirt off and I just sweat my ass off, and I just be like. <sighs> just breathing through every single move feeling it go from my shoulders to my chest and then this is always usually the spot where we feel our anxiety the most right exactly so i would yeah. always tend to try to to imagine myself taking that feeling and bringing it to my chest and then throwing it into my arms and my like arms really and pushing body, yeah. it you know what i mean even into know, my legs I know, I know, that's I when i started to learn my legs more you know what i mean and that's what taught me yeah. even more about my body and then it was like it became a whole different exercise and a whole different way to train my brain to learn how to fight against you know something that i felt was even spiritual too and waving waving saved me <laughs> in that regard and then it became another outlet for when i just was like when i feel crazy and i'm like either i'm really mad and i don't want to i want to counteract that emotion it's like i want to calm down I'm gonna breathe through everything that I'm feeling and then once I feel it start to kind of heighten that's when I'm gonna go crazy and I'm gonna get off but then I'm gonna add all the other elements while still waving and then start truly like getting into the control and the the raw expression and and just the freedom of movement to fully like explode with my expression and yeah man i love this because because every, every, everybody that i ask about this what, like what, you, what what is waving for you and blah blah blah, you know the basic question um most of the answers are something like this it kind of saved you right so right i was yeah like for me I, I won't give the whole story i gave it with jess and everything but for me it literally saved me because of my health so mm -hmm. but after but after that so if we're passing that part of the health thing and that the uh, that saving part the other one was uh, that's when i realized that i actually can dance because for me like for example you said that you're like a more introvert right mm -hmm. or you were, used to be anyways i was the opposite in day-to-day -day life <laughs> mm -hmm. but when it when it came to dancing or i don't know battling or anything like that i was the exact opposite that's what i loved about dance it's like it's wow. like that expensive stu stupid car that you just can't get it yet you know what i mean it makes the right. out of it yeah, so that's why I loved about it because that was it was the opposite of everything that was going on in my life back then, right? At that point, so right, right. When I got into waving and I really understood it and I got basically trained by it, if you want, um, I learned what you said just to calm down <laughs> completely, right? If I'm full, like oh yeah, my god, yeah. shit, a lot of people, to shit, a lot of people, lights going on, you can't even hear the music, you can't feel the damn legs. I don't know, you, you remember that feeling, right? <laughs> oh <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. But like, waving got me into that, so I was like. And then I, as you said, I mean, for me, that's the way I tap in. Then yeah. I add the aggressiveness and everything. But because it's by the time I add something really aggressive to it, I'm already calm. I'm already into the music. I'm already, you know, breathing, feeling my body and shit, you know. And mm -hmm. you said about discovering your body. I, I love that because for me, it was, I didn't know to, what to do properly with isolations until I got into it, right? Mm -hmm. I, 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 seriously, I, I was always training them and everything but i never know what to do with them you know it's like it's like gathering things in games but you don't know what you gotta cut with you know <laughs> right 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 and sometimes yeah, you yeah. don't know when to use it until exactly until it's like presented to you like in a prompt it's like boom this is where you use your new tool that you just picked up back in level three you know what I mean? exactly like in 2011 or some shit right <laughs> right right and it's like, yeah like somebody you know? your body just kind of remembers remembers it for you yeah 
Yeah, and that's that's kind of also the beautiful thing about our bodies is that we can kind of push it to a place that we didn't think we could, and then we also forget that the places that it's been that can still be utilized today, but now with with the next level of where we are exactly. now mentally. So yeah, exactly. that's that's always like the really cool thing to to think about too is like where you've been and what you've done and even the things that you wanted to do back then you're like oh i can't do because i don't know how but then you're like but you know how now so now you can go back and be like i can do that thing that i once wish i could have done and exactly. now now but then now you're like on a whole different wavelength that you make it like that much more beautiful or magnificent or powerful you know however you want to put it yeah that's that's the beauty of it you don't even see the progress you just realize you're progressing but you have no idea how or what you know what i'm saying no yeah 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 yeah, yeah. And now we live in this day and age where we can sit our phones or our cameras and and capture our progress day to day. We don't always have to post. We don't always have to share, but sorry, I'm burping right now. I'm trying not to like <laughs> <don't>. <laughs> break <laughs> but, the speakers off. Yeah, I know what you mean. Right, right. Um But it's cool that we can we can track our progress that way as well. And sometimes I'd like to just I do like a day one where I'm at day 30. This is where I'm at. And then I look at the, the progress there. I don't even record in between that. I'll just look at that progress and I'll be like, wow, dope, let's keep going. You know what I mean? Like, it's, yeah, exactly. it's, it's, yeah. it's those things too that really help like, <laughs> what's good? Um, that Johnny. Really help. It's the way he said it too, gifted. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, it's, it's, it's just a beautiful thing and even waving in itself like getting to see the people that are coming out like after i know for me like after um waves within like the first one i started seeing more people like just oh, yeah. start start waving and i was like it wasn't even they were starting to wave it was just like they they realized like oh i can i can solely wave but you know add like you know my flavor with it and just and just be and just exist and now i get to see all these different like languages body languages with waving and it's like wow wow it's like a whole different like euphoria that um i've been exposed to and i haven't even like traveled anywhere like i just see it <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> right here in the exactly. palm of my hands and i'm like man this is beautiful exactly. bro like <laughs> it's yeah. a, it's, and it's and it's also because there's no concept of wrong here you can't be wrong. It's possible, you know. Yeah, I feel like that that will got people. Yeah. Yeah, and I think the idea of making mistakes is what scares people into doing new things or just to doing things. Period. And like you said, there's there's no wrong. Like you cannot, you can you can never be wrong. You can only learn. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's never a loss. There's only a lesson. And somebody told me that they learned from Flowmaster. That's what he said. Is like. There's never win or lose. There's only win or learn. And I think when Frantic I, told me that. Yeah, I think oh, Frantic told me that once. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think my friend. Yeah. I was like, "You damn right." <laughs> All right. I never lose. I'm just gonna learn something. Cool. And and ever since then, it's always been like a process of enjoying when you get to learn because it not only does it humble you, but it, it's like it's just like picking up a new tool or a new like. A new weapon and when you finally learn how to use it you're like oh i know how to get it with the fun. like you oh get excited and, <laughs> and the joy yeah. the joy comes from yeah. that and then once you have that joy it's like you're 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 indestructible because it's like nothing can truly like conquer love yeah it, you know it, what it I mean? gets a kid and, out of you doesn't it bro in a way it, yeah and but and that's what you want to you want to have you want to ignite your inner child so you can truly like enjoy everything that you're doing oh man you got me hype i'm about to dance somebody 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 commented i don't have problems anymore i have challenges and challenges of oh, fucking instagram i can't see it with and challenges can be overcome yeah fair nice oh yes yes fair. challenges can always be overcome and you always yeah. gotta make you know what that's what I, I yeah uh I was going to ask you about this. That's what I actually love a lot about your dance, man. You're taking a shitload of risks every round I see. Oh, shit. Right? I mean, 
Can you still hear me? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can like hear a little bit. Yes. Yeah, so, so you're taking risks, you know, when dancing, which I highly encourage to everybody and to myself, I always trying to remember, just do it, fuck it. Nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> just try it, right? Do you know what I mean? Right. That, that, so, so was, that so, was this always the case or only with this waving thing going on? No. Uh, well, I mean, with waving, I feel like it's easier because I'm able to track my momentum because I actually see yeah. my pathways and where I'm going. So if I feel like, oh, this is going to be risky, I just try to believe in it as much. But then when it comes with like any other movement, it's like if I'm going to throw my body weight, if like from a bounce to a rock to like a shake, I want to like make sure that I don't trip myself up. But I also want to make sure that I'm grounded. And that's the biggest thing is like if I'm not grounded, I know I'm going to be screwed when I try to do what I I think I want to do. But uh, waving is probably the biggest thing that helps me take risks because I what I learned a lot more was to find flow and once I could find flow then it was easier to take risks because then if there's no flow in what you're doing then it's kind of like you didn't do it you know what I mean if there's no true like sentence structure that can it's like be you understood said, yeah, it's like you said about it's like you said about crumb you can't really fake it for me for example if I fake you you'll yeah. see it you don't have to know <laughs> right. without faking it. Yeah. Right, 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 right. And, and even just with any movement, any piece of movement, people know when you're like faking it or faking the expression because when you feel something, it's 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 energy at that point. Like it's like yeah. right here, just like like vibrating and and being ready to like be presented or to be expressed or to be given and that is felt before your face is even like recognized as part of that emotion and yeah you can't fake that and when people know you're faking that's when it's like okay maybe i gotta i gotta switch something up or maybe i just gotta really believe in myself to just do what i'm doing even if you're technically not there yet believing in everything that you're doing is what is going to matter the most moving Okay, just got the battery warning. Yeah, you got cut off a little bit. You said it's just gonna matter the most, and then you, yeah, you cut you up. Yeah, it actually cut me off at the <laughs> at the right time. Um, but yeah, basically, that's that's what's gonna matter the most at the end of the day is is the the raw expression and just you believing in what you're you're giving to. Huh? I'm trying to. Can I do this? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to take this out because I'm about to put on my other headphones because now I gotta charge my phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll wait, we'll wait. I don't know. I don't even know if you noticed, brother, but we're already one hour in. Oh, dang! This, this is going good. Time is moving fast. <laughs> I know, I know, and this is going really good actually. <laughs> I love it. Um, so wait, I, I was at, I was actually wanted, I wanted to ask you this before, so we're going coming back to this. You mentioned about the followers thing. When do you think it was the boom with them? When did you get them? Most of the followers and everything. Because actually, a student mind, that's a question from a student mind. And it's for me to know. Um, let me see. Does this come on? Oh, let me make sure this is good real quick. I can hear you, so it'll be fine. You can hear me? I'm yeah. trying to wait till you get into my ears real quick. Yeah, the issue is a little bit with the video sometimes. You're lagging your shit, but that's it. The audio seems to be all right. Hey. Titi. I think it's catching. Ah. Okay, so... um. Well, I had did a, I did a contest with World of Dance like a while back, like I think in like 2015, 2016, and okay. uh, I had won the contest, and then they flew me to perform, and you know World of Dance has like their their platform and it's it's pretty big, so I think when I did that, I had performed a couple times, if not a few times, and that helped definitely like boost my following a lot. And then yeah. wait, 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 wait. Uh, just a second. When you said you had the contest, how was the contest? Wait, it was like battling and shit, or or how was it? Uh, what did you it, was, to? it was a, uh, it was, it was definitely an online thing. It was. I wouldn't even say it's it's battling, but uh, it. Well, this was also before World of Dance had the TV show. I don't want to get it. Mixed oh, up. gotcha. We had gotcha. the the, the uh, It was all their like stage shows, so. It was online and basically you just danced to one of the songs that they presented and um, they just ranked it from first, second and third. And when I did mine, uh, I'm not sure if you're familiar with Outrage. He's like 
one of the craziest. I know the name. I heard the name before, but I don't know him. I don't know. I heard him yeah. before though. He's a he's he's crazy, but uh, he actually <laughs> was the person that 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 picked me to win, and then that's when I was able to like kind of travel with Wad for a little bit, and then that's when it boosted my following. And then I met people like in LA as well that I collaborated with that had big followings, and and then even sometimes people would just share my videos, and then my following would continue to go up, and it was just me putting out just my content, or even putting out things that I was feeling really strongly about because of something that I was going through at the time and other people could resonate and that's just kind of where it where that's it awesome. flourished the most awesome this, this, this is awesome um, I wanted to ask you you're still doing your you're, you're teaching right on patreon if I'm not mistaken yeah yeah I'm actually now I'm, I'm really focused on my patreon because we're <laughs> We're like technically still in quarantine, but like I, I often would just go out to session, and um, I also film. I do freelance on the side as well. So can I, you can you repeat that I'll a go. second, bro? It, it cut you off for a second. You know the it the did. video lag in the order as well. Yeah. Here, wait. I'm gonna. Yeah, I don't know why. Maybe the signal, or I don't know. Test this out because I think my headphones are starting to bug out, but I can hear you without. Yeah. So it's cool. Um, yeah, yeah, that's fine. I, I, um, I freelance on the side, so I'll go out and I'll go film like projects and stuff. Like I kind of like how I was telling you before, uh, from here, yeah. when we were trying to set this whole thing up, um, yeah, I'll film like projects and whatnot, but right now I'm definitely, um, I'm definitely focused on my Patreon and even just trying to build it, trying to build the, the, the format that I wanted to start to fall into and and just kind of keep going. Because I, I've never done the online tutorial thing and I know it's already kind of been existing for a little while, but now that we're in quarantine, it's like a lot of us don't really have a, a choice. But uh, yeah you know, to, to do online or to do Zoom or anything like that. And Patreon has definitely been the, the biggest benefactor to help me with my teachings because I've always wanted to just give so much to people or even just give. And it's definitely been the perfect platform to help me with that. And, and I've just loved it so far. Like I've loved being able to connect with the people I've been connecting with and just even share what i've been sharing because i have a, like a lot in my brain that i'm trying to like really like get out <laughs> and now i can like truly get it out and the only thing that sucks is just not being able to have the connection that i used to when i would teach yeah it, it yeah it takes a little a bit of different skills isn't there, a set of skills to, to, to teach online because i know that most of us didn't adapt that much like for me in the beginning it was all right then it got really fucking shit <laughs> for me at, at least teaching online yeah but uh, yeah, but now I'm, I'm feeling comfortable with it a little bit, so I'm thinking I'll start it again. Uh, what I was going to ask you is, so as a teacher, right, if, if it comes to waving, if I'll tell you, if I'll come as a newbie, no, let's do no, not no, I mean, as a normal dancer, because I ask this question a lot, right? I'm a dancer from another style, doesn't matter, right? How do you teach waving? waving? Do you teach it as a concept where you're going to put me on techniques and drills and shit? How, how does it work for you? Uh, there's different ways. It, it just depends on where the person is at, but the... I guess the universal way that I try to teach it is I first talk about like the isolation and the access points that you have in your body. Yep. And if you were to cut your, your body in half, you have seven, right? So you have like your head, <clears throat> your shoulder, elbow, wrist, waist, chest, your knee, and your ankle. All these and points yeah. are, are accessible. Like you can move through them, right? And then even your digits, like your hands. But I, I teach those separately and I just I say that you're allowed to move up and down and if you can move left or right, then that means you have mobility there. Anywhere you have mobility, you want to to, to access. And if you want to have, um, what is it like, you know, point A to point B with waves, yeah, yeah. Like, I want to get I want to get from here to there. It's like, how do you do that? Well, think of all the points that you have from point A to point B and how you can finesse them because you could do a simple like you know wave or you can do one that has like dynamics and twists and turns yeah to get you there you know what i mean it's just like it's all about creativity and where you want to go but my first thing is always um the isolations 
basically is like learning how to isolate because then you learn how to reach with these things you learn how to pull you learn how to push oh, sure, you yeah. how, how yeah. to feel you know what i mean like yeah. you want to be able yeah. to feel everything before you even do anything because if you can't feel it nobody's gonna feel you and, and and the beautiful thing about it it's great that you you bring this up it's uh all for every people right for every person sorry their body is different so you know what I mean. So if if you get the bodybuilder, for example, they're gonna move their traps like you know what I mean. Right. Yeah. Some themselves. people. Yeah. Some people can do that much easier than others. And exactly. Like, some may train it, it. Some may got it, and that's it. Wait. You cut out a little bit. Uh, can you hear me now? Maybe it's my signal. Fucking. I don't know. No. Well, yeah. No. I can change. It just like had like a little like. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, I just said that some people may have it already, or some people just have to train it. That's it, you know. Right, right, and that's that's never a bad thing. It's just recognizing where you're at and learning how to get to where you want to be. Yeah. Wait, let me get this thing. Dang, first. So now, now I have the issues. Fucking up. This internet thing is killing us, man. <laughs> Wait. Now, like, I'll just hold it like this. Fine. Uh, Joe, how are you feeling? Everyone, everybody's great here. Actually, it's a great conversation going yeah, on. Yeah, we have a, we have a good little bit of issues. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> this is happening. Great. Yo, yeah, much love to everybody that's tuned in, though. That's yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, by the way, for everybody that's in here, I'm gonna save the life too. And I usually, uh, at the end, I bring like the the most interesting parts out of it, and then just put it, you know, in a but normal posts or reels and shit like that. So. It's gonna right, be. right, right. So, uh, if you're gonna teach it as a uh, as a concept, right? As how would you approach this? If I were to teach it as a concept, yeah, yeah. If you were to teach waving as a concept, um, I would, I would start with the just the idea of energy and how energy can be dispersed and how it can be created. Because at the end of the day, when you think about energy, you just think about it as a ball, right? Um, but energy is doesn't necessarily take shape, but it only it only does what you you wish for it to do. And even though I haven't learned Tai Chi, I, I I sometimes I think of it from like a Tai Chi perspective because of what I've seen and I see the way that they 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 move through yeah. the space and they move energy. So now when it's like with waving, I think about moving energy through the space or even moving energy through my body, and then it helps me articulate in the way that I want to move and then once I'm in a place where it's like okay now I can really like start busting and start like getting down then I I, I create rhythms and the energy starts to kind of repeat through that and then I, I sift it through a different part of my body and I create a rhythm there and then like I'll have this and then it's like okay now if I'm going to actually show you what this energy looks like then I'm going to keep it here and then I can grab it and like <clears throat> and then just continuously build it from there and energy can be whatever you want it to be at the end of the day it's like it's like playing with clay right exactly you are, you're well, giving this with clay as well <laughs> with clay yeah too. yeah you're yeah. giving this huge block and it's like it starts off like this like as a box and then you're like here are my tools let's get busy you know what i mean and it's like now you're like you're really like starting to carve and even with clay like thinking of carving what, is, what do you do when you carve you like you dig in and you really move all of that and then that creates artisan and detail so there's so much that i feel like i just said in that little sentence <laughs> that yeah, could be yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what but I yeah about. just did it cut out no no i can hear you i can hear you. i said that's why i shut up oh, for a second because you said so much in that sentence <laughs> oh word, word, word. yeah um but yeah uh from from a conceptual perspective i would say um definitely using it or utilizing it like it's energy or like it's clay and learning how to carve and create and and build something that's that's you that's beautiful and that's 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 filled with love to you we, uh, we oh. can't hear it Okay, I was okay, like, I, I'm like, no. I'm, I'm just hearing something. It's like, it was loud to me. <laughs> no, but, we uh, can't hear it. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're saying. That's a beautiful part of it, isn't it? Because in in this respect, it's easier to teach than other styles because everybody's ideas are different. And once you, 
for me, for example, what I always try to do is just um, teach them how to make it work or teach myself, doesn't matter, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just how to make it work because the idea is going to be yours. So if, if you say water or you say it doesn't matter, fucking wind or something, right? That energy can be anything. Or you can do, like, for example, for me, my biggest point of interest or point of inspiration, if you want, for example, in concerts, it's, it's cartoons, right? Because you're standing there as well, yeah. so that's what I'm doing. Yeah, but when I when I tell people this, they're like, yeah, but you said energy. I'm like, God, fuck, they're right, I gotta go back. So I gotta explain how that's energy, do you know what I mean? <laughs> so at one point, yeah. You, you, yeah. It's just, it's all, it all depends on the purpose. Cause when, when it comes to teaching, you're sharing your experience, right? Yeah. But then also you want to make sure you disclaim, like my experience is not going to be the same as your experience. I'm just providing you examples. Like, yes, it can be this, but it can also be this. But now it, at this point, as a student, I feel like it can be up to you to figure out the, uh, the connection between the two, right? And to figure out why they, these two exist in the same medium and why they're able to still be utilized in one art form and granted like yes a teacher can provide all those answers but you don't want to take the fun of exploring away from the student and giving and like giving them everything and them not being able to just figure certain things out for themselves so they can have that aha moment of like wow yeah you know what i mean yeah, yeah, they miss the process. I know what you mean. Yeah, like you wanna you wanna allow them to still have that process to go through, so they can figure that out, and then also find themselves in that process because that's ultimately what this journey is. Is like you just finding yourself more, and you're just being provided little tools here and there to to help you on your journey. So, and what about the physical aspect of it? I mean, first of all, are you a flexible guy, like natively and shit? No, I not at all, right? Okay. I'm not flexible so, at all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not like a stiff rock. But, uh, <laughs> so, what do you do about the, about the about the physical part of it? Do you lift weights and shit? Uh, yeah, or is I, just... I, I lift weights. I, I mean, I don't lift weights. I work out. I'm trying to get into calisthenics more, but I do, like, push-ups. I have a pull-up bar. Um, I do squats. I'll, like, find things around, like, the house that I can do squats with. And But it's more so, like... I try to think of it as like conditioning my body for the movement that I want to do. So if I'm going to say, That's if I'm going to like, you know, like I'm going to yeah. sit in a squat, but I want to move in the, in this squat at a very low like level, then I'm either going to just start doing walks in the, in like with these squats. Like, so like, I don't even, what are they called? Like, we'll say squat walks. <laughs> we'll call I mean, squat now, walks. Isn't the midget walk thing? I, think, I, I don't think I don't know it's but it's like uh, it's just like being in a very like deep squat but also like walking I know there's a name for it walking with it yeah you know what I mean and doing stuff like that so I can condition my body to to learn how to build the muscles to just do that off rip you know what I mean and even when it comes to like say if I'm doing something on the floor if I want to hold myself up and still do like something with like the right side of my body and that means I have to condition my arms to like know how to hold my, my body weight for however amount of time. And that's why like even planks are, are really good. I'm trying to like- They're good really for balance as well, yoga. yeah. Like yoga- yeah, They're has good definitely, for balance as well. Um, has definitely helped uh, mobility and flexibility, but I'm not like flexible, you know what I mean? But I have like, I feel like I'm I'm getting back into like how I, how I was as a kid in terms of like flexibility. Like I can actually like, my hips aren't so tight anymore or um, my arms don't feel as tight. And even because I use my arms so much, I feel like I'm not gonna necessarily lose that flexibility in my arms. But yoga yeah. is one of the biggest things that I'm trying to really dig into to just help me with mobility period and to just get my body to where I want it to be. And sometimes it's just how did you get in it? Like, did you get in the course or you online or something? How did you start with it? Oh, yoga? yoga? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? It's funny already. Let's go. It's, well, it's <laughs> funny because because we're supposed to be like in lockdown or you know there's quarantine happening, but there's yoga classes that go on still. And so I've I've Lots gone to a, to a couple yoga classes, but they're bit, they're pretty well spread out. Um, and I just. And I just, yeah, I just go to, I go to a yoga class that my friends either tell me about or 
I'm trying to go to one that my friend has taught, but I haven't yet. Um, and I just, yeah, I just do yoga there. And even sometimes I'll like look online and they'll like have like a, you know, on Instagram, they'll have like diagrams of yoga poses. And I just do those sometimes. Yeah. Just sit there and I'll just be like, <sighs> and breathe through them just to, to help me with that. And then, I, and then I get ideas of like where I can strengthen my body too. If I feel like it's weak in one place and it's like, okay, I know I can do a workout here. Or I can do a workout here. And it's more of learning how that's, to listen that's to your that's body. Yeah. It, sorry, sorry to interrupt you. I just want, that's too slept on because it's, it helps so much with injury prevention. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, exactly. Yeah, I didn't have, I was a stupid ass in, in the beginning, for example. I, I just started stretching like properly for like one and a half years or some shit. Because before I was doing a fasting, you know, let's dance like it. <laughs> but right. um, dude, I was getting injuries like an old man, like like an eighty year old person all the time, you know, every every time pain and everything. And I feel like, especially if people are watching, they're gonna be youngsters and everything, you know. If, that's the after the brain type, the mindset thing. That's the most essential thing. I swear to God, like, you you gotta make sure you're not gonna die while while dancing. <laughs> that, yeah, that no, should be exactly. a target. And that's why. That's why also knowing what you want to do is going to help you because then it's like, okay, how am I going to also prepare my body for that versus just only preparing my mind? Like it's a, it's a trifecta. It's a mind, body, spirit thing. And you got yeah, to know how to prepare it, yourself. Yeah. But it does get you healthy as in general, you know, so it, it's, it's benefit and benefit and benefit, you know, whilst dancing, I mean, in general. Yeah. You got a question here. You, you got a question here from Mark. Hi, Mark. Do you cover the history of a style when you're teaching? Um, yes, yes and no. <laughs> it took a long time. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like, it's it, it always depends because there's a lot of people who already like have dug into the history and are just looking on how to apply it for themselves. And it's like, okay, I'm, I know I'm more um, proficient in providing them with the understandings and the intentions versus like history because like even for me like i didn't necessarily grow up on history but i went and did my research to understand much love no, see you later Alex. Like, thanks for joining um but like i went and did the research myself and like really looked into the history of you know like popping crump like it's kind of inevitable though like when we're having a discussion there's never going to not be a point where I don't talk about the history of it because you have to understand why it was created. You have to understand like why people even did it in clubs or why people did it in the streets or why people did it in their living room. You know what I mean? Or why it was even like thought about in a living room on a whiteboard. You know what I mean? So it, it's um, so, yeah, it's like a yes and no thing, but an indefinite yes, because it's just inevitable that we'll have that discussion. Um, but I, I'm more so focused on like intention and understanding the self to understand how to give and um and execute what you wish to you know execute or achieve um i feel like yes, that, that's that, that's a great way to bring interest for from non-dancers for example as well if you can actually explain it for them because if you start explaining history and this is the history of that and this is the that the walkout was because of that blah 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 you see the person i would get bored as fuck let's be honest here i would like as especially as a youngster and i did before right but as 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 you see the whole picture and as you said if you can explain if you can get what type of person that is you can show them why they should be curious further you know right right that's how right, i see right. it yeah yeah and that's why that's why it's um it always depends you know what i mean it always depends but indefinite like Yes, I do. I do cover history, but I don't get too like too deep with it because there's also a whole lot of different people that are out there already giving like the history of it, and it's like they can get it. They can. That that's why it's also like encouraged to learn from other people as well because yeah. they can give you that history, and then you can go to somebody and you can get their the way that they took it and finessed it and built themselves. And then you can go to somebody else and be like, oh, you know how to do this really good. So I can learn this from you. So it's always one of those things that's like, I feel like I don't have to really touch on it, but I touch on it anyway at some point because of the intention of the why. Yeah. If you don't understand the why, then you're gonna be like, well, why am I doing it? 
you know. Exactly, I know what you mean. Yeah. I respect that, you know, because a lot of people should do that. Go over your ego and if, I'll give you an example. If somebody asked me, I did once, like teach me strutting. <laughs> right. Like, I'm one of the only poppers in my country, I think. I'm pretty sure I am. But I just said, dude, I, I know it kind of, I dance it kind of, but I'm not the guy that teaches, you know? You should right. go to that guy who just type online because now it's easy and everything. And I, I learned that from actually the person was Kid Boogie. Uh, he was the one that did it first and I saw it right and I was on. like, he's not teaching. I, I was in the beginning, right? Kid Boogie was a fucking, you know, superstar for me. Yeah. Like, he doesn't teach a lot. Yeah. But he was humble. You know, he said, I'm not a, I'm not a professional star or what you call him. Just go to that guy and, you know, go to Rashad and anything. So I feel like that's a problem in our culture still a little but everything is getting so accessible now, especially online that people can't really fake it anymore, you know? That, right. That's, that's a point that I love. Yeah, that's a point that I love about internet. Right. And like, and also like, yeah, it, you just have to be honest with yourself. It's like, if you really don't know something, just direct yeah. them to the right person who does. And that's, that's usually what I try to do as well. It's like, if I'm, if I'm like stumped on, on a question that I'm like, I do not have the answer. Yeah. Let me find somebody who does because it's just better that way because then that's how you're able to like, not even, I don't want to say spread the wealth, but I'm talking about more of, of knowledge, like spread the wealth and knowledge. Like, because like you for like, I could, you could have something that I don't necessarily have. And I could be like, yo, Raul got this. So like, go to him so he could like truly like, fill your cup with what you're trying to like fill it with you know what i mean because i don't have that for yeah, you right? well yeah yeah it's good but it's it's a financial aspect as well isn't it because most of the people that's why they don't do it because like, <laughs> yeah. they're like oh, i'm gonna lose money I'm like nah, whatever exactly they, they most of the people yeah you're right exactly that's the, that's the thing i might teach you shit, but i'll still teach you and you're gonna pay me for it you know so yeah some people still go by that but no nah, and you know care. especially for yeah, especially for people watching the live, especially youngsters, most of the dancers, not all, but most of them are not rich, man. <laughs> you don't you don't get rich with this thing, you know? You don't want to get... I, I mean, everybody loves money. It's not like that, but I don't think that's the target. And if, I think at one point, if, even if it was, it just cancels on the journey, you know? It just gets off, <laughs> like the money it thing, does, you know? completely. And... Yeah. Then it kind of just goes along with, like, when you're, when you're faking the funk, like, eventually exactly. you'll get caught. Yeah. And, it, yeah, exactly. You know, so why not just Good go ahead and, and just be honest with yourself and be honest with the individuals that you're sharing with and that you're giving with and just let them know like, yeah, I don't know right now. Maybe we can learn that together. How about that? Let's go find somebody who can who can teach us that. And then exactly. we can come back and, and reconnect if, um, if we can. But if not, because then sometimes like you can redirect them to somebody and then they're like, this is who I've been waiting for. And then that's just going to have to happen because sometimes you won't be the person that's going to give somebody everything. You might just be able to give them a little bit or even a seed that they can get watered by somebody else or somewhere else. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it should be the target, isn't it? I mean, your student has to be, has to become something great, has to become even better than you. I mean, that's the purpose, isn't it? Kind of. Yeah. You Especially always you might have for me. Yeah. Just like even having a child, you you want to raise your child to be better than you always. You don't want them to be your equal. No. You want them to be better to do better because you want your lineage to to be excel. Quarter. You don't want it to just stay the same. That's not what we're here for. We're here to grow and we're here to to become better human beings and better individuals and just be better periods so that way we can do better from and learn better from our mistakes that we've made or from the things that we did, you know? Dude, amen, amen to that. Wait, I got a notification. Never got it before. Oh, that's why. We're reaching 40 minutes in, so I think the live is gonna stop now. Oh, shoot. Yeah, but dude, we, we already did like one and a half hours, so if that's you have crazy. something else to talk, if you think you have something else to talk with, I covered everything I wanted to know, to be honest. Already, bro, I, I mean... I still, uh, I feel like I, we covered a lot. We talked about a lot. Um, yeah, dude, I'm really know, grateful I, that you're doing this. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. I'm glad that you you're doing this. Period. Because a, a lot of a lot of knowledge is coming out of this from everybody that you talk to and everybody that you reach out to. And I'm just like grateful that you asked me to do this as well. Um, Always, man. I know. I know. I can go off on a tangent too when it comes to dance, but I feel like yeah, we covered we covered a whole yeah, lot. Most of it. We're gonna do this shit live, man. 
<laughs> yes, you know, no. I mean, that's that's promise. We, yeah, we definitely have to. And I know once everything opens up, I'm definitely gonna be. Yeah, I'm gonna travel the shit. I swear to God. Exactly. Yeah, We're gonna be. I got the mics going on. Got the laptop. We can edit together. Fuck it. We just do it live. Yo, <laughs> yo, bro. I'll bring my camera too. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Yeah, <laughs> Give to thank you so much for doing this, man. Yeah, no, of course, bro. Uh, it's definitely a pleasure. Me too. Uh, I'll have it on my page for for somebody that's still watching, right? And you too, man. I'll have it on my page so we can everybody can listen it. I'll cut some posts posts of it. And let's just keep going and push this dance thing going. And I can't wait to meet yeah. you, man. Yes, likewise, brother. Yo. I'll see up. you. Take care of yourself, okay? Yes, you too, man. Much love. Peace. Much love, man. Bye-bye.